I came to very soon. Curse it, spite that ever I was born to set it. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? This is the excellent foppery of the world. But who, ah, who had seen the Moblid Queen run barefoot up and down, threatening the flames with bison room, a clout upon that head where late the diadem stood, and for a robe about those lank and all or timid loins, a blanket in the alarm of fear caught up, who this had seen with tongue in venom steeped against fortune's state, would treason have pronounced. But if the very gods themselves did see her then, when she saw Pyrrhus make malicious sport in mincing with his sword her husband's limbs, the instant burst of clamor that she made, unless things mortal moved them not at all, would have made Milsh the burning eyes of heaven and passion in the gods. Firstly, it's about compassion. The speech itself is about compassion. And then the player king weeps and changes his color. And it becomes about his compassion for an imaginary story. You know, and anybody who's an actor understands that. And Hamlet expatiates on that and says, you know, um, why? Why should he care so much and contrasts it with his inability to to catalytically feel something that will, that will enable him to act um, about his own situation. And there's just something about, about, and I think the words are incredibly beautiful, and, and this plea, somewhere Shakespeare is making a plea that, that, that our empathetic understanding of stories is all we have you know is is the, the the fear and pity that that great stories can engender in all of us is what makes us human and and i find that you know as a representative of the same profession i find that so extraordinary and that an actor turned playwright, understood that, put it into a play, made it a part of the plot, and gave the sweet guy such beautiful things to say, and, and saying them like he really means it, means a lot to me.